Evening, y'all. Steve here, V-Twin Racing Channel. Hey, uh, I just wanted to uh, update you guys on a couple things real quick. I did go ahead and buy a steering stabilizer. I'm going to have to weld some kind of a post here on the steering head to mount this part of it. Um, I got the fairing off. Stop fooling with that. Um, probably end, <coughs> excuse me, end up tomorrow or possibly Wednesday or Thursday welding that up. Um, got the, finally got the correct sprocket. As you guys can see, that is the DR2 drag chain. Um, I had to put a couple little spacers to get this thing out away from it. It was a little too close for comfort, so I feel better about that. That's all torqued down. Got my new brake line. Um, this is going to be protected by the chain guard up here, so it just runs along where the other one used to. And we'll follow that along over here where it comes down right here. And you can see I use some little, I don't know what they're, I call them Adele clamps. Uh, a couple of Adele clamps with some self tappers. Ran it down, fastened it down to the caliper. Went ahead and ran uh, some convoluted tubing around the taillight wires to try to blend it in black. Ran that up. Did away with the switch so it's straight up wired in when the power's on, the taillight's on. So that way I won't forget to turn it on in the middle of, the, you know, whatever's going on. Sometimes you forget to turn them on. You can't get disqualified for that if your taillight don't work. So anyway, a um, few things done. Um, I got an email the other day from uh, a sprocket specialist telling me my sprocket was done. So it should show up one day this week when it does. Uh, I'm going to run this... Uh, in Avon or Pirelli or whatever this tire is. Um, <clears throat> this is like a brand new tire, so I'm going to go ahead and run it for now. It is a 180, 55, 70, or 17, sorry. Um, one thing I still have to do um, is um, fasten the brake uh, caliper uh, so it can't rotate um it obviously when it was on the suzuki it was on the other side of the bike and i don't know if i'm going to fab something to just go up to this stud i don't really care for that because i got adjust wheel adjustments and stuff here i may come off of this bolt with a longer bolt and i can't really weld to the chrome molly because all i've got is a mig I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. But I need the chain to locate this wheel where it's going to ride, and then I'll worry about working on something for that. But um, coming along, when I do pull the wheel and change the sprocket, I'm going to cut this fender out a little bit with a Dremel, clearance it around that fin uh, fender, the shock. You guys know what I'm talking about. Come on. <laughs> clearance it around that uh, shock. I got to get a couple of spacers from Lowe's. Good luck with that, right? I'm going to bring these out against the nut, put the spacer behind it to bring the shock out a little bit, get it away from that bolt. The bottom, I think I'm just going to draw them up. I think they'll be fine. Um, hopefully closing in on the home stretch on this thing. Um, I'm going to save a few pennies and nickels. And I am going to get a uh, nitrous kit for this bike, so um, I might be able to uh, run multiple index classes with the nitrous on it. Because I intend to put a, uh, I don't know if they still call them that, but they back in the day they were called a progressive controller where you can give it, you know, a little bit. Or you can dial in your percentages and how much and the time and all that. So we're definitely going to put some spray on this one. Um... If you guys want, let me know in the comments. I will try to do a video of me installing that kit, which will require me to remove the intake manifold, <clears throat> drill and tap it to put a uh, fogger nozzle in it, 
But like I said, I got to save my nickels and dimes because it's about a thousand bucks for a single nozzle V-twin nitrous kit with a, up to 50 horsepower jets. So that's, oh yeah, and I got my brand new Shinko for the front. I got to pull that front wheel off. Probably wait till after I get that stabilizer done and get the fairing back on it. I'll pull the wheel and go get that new tire mounted on that. Um probably always a good idea to go ahead and put one of these on a bike if you're going to put a uh, front end other than what Harley Davidson intended on the bike. It doesn't change the rake, but um, these bearings, the way I've got this set up, I really don't have the option of putting um, extra tension on the bearings. So it is what it is. I've got it pulled down as tight as I can get it with a top nut. And... Uh, it's not going to fall apart or anything. It's not dangerous, but I may not be able to uh, address any head shake by tightening up the steering stem bearings. I don't really have that ability, so that's all we got for today, guys. Um, as always, appreciate you watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And again, like I said, drop me a comment. Love to hear from you. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Have a good evening.